Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran and today we're going to be talking about Warlords or General Perks, especially the ones for Combat Rogue. So the perks are passives that are received in Warlords or General from level 90 to level 100. You earn overall 9 of them from level 91 to 92 to 93 to 94 and so on until 100. You receive them all at random, but you will receive all 9 of them by the time you reach level 100. Let's talk about the perks for Combat Rogues. First we have Improved Recuperate, which just increases your healing from Recuperate by 20%, which is always nice for Combat Rogue with the PvP perspective, as you have increased healing within duels and World vs. World PvP situations and the times when you need healing, but you don't have anybody to heal you. Bandit's Guile now grants additional 20% damage increase while in Deep Insight. This means if a Combat Rogue reaches Deep Insight, you're dealing 50% more damage, which makes it a strong perk for PvP. Next one we have Empowered, no, hold on, B Instant Poison. Replace your Deadly Poison with Instant Poison. Instant Poison coats your weapon with a lethal poison that lasts one hour. Each strike has a 30% chance to instantly poison your enemy for XXXX nature damage. So Instant Poison is a nice choice. I guess Deadly Poison is given specifically to Assassination, which is completely fine with me. Uh, it would be nice if maybe Instant Poison also was just like Wound Poison with that healing reduction effect. Then we would just mean that Combat Rogues just carry one poison. It is interesting though, and I would like to see if there's uses of it. Maybe it's a very strong poison, in which case I would recommend using it, and I would use it myself. Advanced Adrenaline Rush pretty much reduces the cooldown of our, our global cooldowns of Sinister Strike, Revealing Strike, Eviscerate, Slice and Dice, and Rupture by additional 0.3%. So it would have 0.5 global cooldown on those 5 abilities. Which is always great for PvP, it creates for better burst potential as well as greater energy usage and combo point generation as well as extra damage. Enhanced Fan of Knives reduces the energy cost of Fan of Knives by 10, which is, I like it because I use Fan of Knives often, even in PvP. So having a 25 energy would only help me out, but I don't use it that often. That's why it's more of a PVE kind of a, I feel like, skill. Still, it's nice to use uh, energy, uh, Phantom Knives without losing too much energy. Crimson Tempest no longer deals any periodic damage, instead deals 240% increased initial damage. Which is interesting because we would have to see the scaling of the game, and if this ability is actually useful in maybe single target PvP. This might be great, and it might be just some, you know, like a little hack type of ability that just ends up working, although nobody knows how or why. Next, we have Empowered Ambidextra, which is awesome for PvP, first of all. You no longer have a penalty to hitting your auto attacks due to dual wielding. So every single melee hit will hit. That means a ton of damage, a ton of more damage from combat rogues just for staying on your target, since our melee is some of our strongest and most common damage. Improved Sinister Strike increases damage of Sinister Strike by 20%, which I is great. It's just our combo point generator. Like, why not? <laughs> Sounds awesome. And it also we have Improved Eviscerate increases the damage done by Eviscerate by 20%. Again, extra damage will never hurt combat rogues. Overall, I feel like our perks, compared to some of the other classes and specs out there, are actually kind of on par and kind of makes sense to what combat rogues do and they do amplify what we are going to be doing. They are reinforcing the idea of cooldowns and lining up your kills but that's completely fine as a combat rogue I've been doing that as long as I've been playing combat rogue. Now stuff like Empowered Crimson Tempest and Enhanced Fan of Knives would be something interesting to check out as well as Enhanced Adrenaline Rush and Instant Poison definitely to see how that poison damage scales with others. Well here we go guys, here's Warlords of Draenor Combat Rogue Perks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the perks in the comments below. This is Dalaran, I'll see you guys in the next video.